I'm Tony Beshera, and I'm going to help you do better at finding a job. He is listed by Fordyce Magazine as the number one headhunting career placement guy in the country. The number one guy. His name's Tony Bashira. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Come in and have a seat. You've been, according to your resume here, a content writer and freelancer since uh, 08. Yes. Explain yes. that. Um, I've done Facebook and blogs for companies. The problem is that, that I'm the one that gets fired because they can get in-house people to do it instead of paying somebody outside, so. Okay, all right. You've been doing that since 08. Right. Uh, about what have you been earning doing it? Uh, $25 an hour. And it's been hit and miss, I take it, right? Yes, more miss lately. <laughs> <laughs> what did you W-2 last year doing this? Total zero. Z oh, zero. Yes, oh. like I said, it's been more miss lately. Oh, okay. <laughs> How you been making a living? Uh, married, you know, married, going through a divorce now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So, yeah, he was the prime, you know, income. I, I wouldn't expect to do this, to for you to express this to an employer. Or are you just going through the divorce? Is it been gone a long while? I mean, give me no, an idea. No, uh, probably. How, I need to know the emotional strain you're sure. in because that helps when you're looking sure. for a job. Four months ago, I decided um, after you know, years, um, it's an 11-year relationship but only a two-year marriage, okay. that uh, four months ago I decided, you know, I'm pretty much at my wit's end and this is either going to continue and I'll be 46 versus 36 if I don't do something about it now. And uh, so I'll, I told him, I said, if you don't come home, you know, because he's you know, got a gambling problem and other issues, then Sorry he wouldn't show that. up at the house. And so I did. I said I would file for a divorce and he didn't come home and called my bluff and I filed for divorce and still had hopes that, you know, he would see that, you know, I really, our marriage was suffering and I needed some change, you know, and tried to communicate. I'm a communication major. You know, it's, we have a hard time communicating. Okay. Anyway, so I did file for divorce and uh, the last four months, I mean, my car has been damaged. Um, spray paint on the wall saying that he hates me, um, uh -huh. you know. Um, cat litter in the washing machine. I mean, I could go on and on and on. The police have been at the house minimal six times, I would say. Um, but because it's his personal property, then I basically don't have any right to say anything to the police don't want to get involved because they say it's community property until you go to court. Um, you seek any counseling? Um, I've been through counseling pretty much throughout our relationship, you know, alone and trying to get him to go also I've you know joined Bible studies you know just to you know my Christian way um, to find help there and then you know therapy um, I've tried to get him help for his gambling and drug abuse issues he and he has depression issues okay. he went for a week and then he decided he didn't want to go back okay. and he you know being 40 years old I can't make him All right. All you right. know you can't make to. anybody do I, anything. No, sir, I cannot. Okay. So we still live together until I can find the income to be able to support myself. You know, I don't have that income, so I can't really move out. So it's it's kind of awkward. There's tension. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. Do you have a lot of contacts in Dallas, people you know? Or are you fairly new to the area? I've been okay. here a year and a half, but I'm, okay. I mean, lately I've been, you know, putting myself right. out there and talking to people, okay. networking, ask All if right. they know of any friends or other companies. You've got to get a lot of interviews. Okay. Now, here's a very important way to deal with this. I moved to Dallas. I've gone through a divorce and drop it. Don't I do say. mention going through a divorce. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because that's why I'm getting back into the market. Okay. I'm going through a divorce. It's behind me. And I'm moving forward. Say no more than that. Okay. Don't get into it beyond that. Mm -hmm. Even if they ask, ah, that's behind me. It was a, looking back on it, a mistake. Mm -hmm. We did the best we could, and I need to move on with my life professionally. Okay. Because they're going to ask you, what have you been doing for the past few years? Unfortunately, I'm going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. It's behind me, and I'm moving on with my life. Okay. You're going to have to bridge the gap of what you've been doing and why you're in Dallas. True. They're going to go and, you know, well, this lady's been working here since October of 08. Mm -hmm. She's been trying to do freelance work, mm -hmm. and she hadn't been making any money. What, she been selling drugs? I mean, what's with this? I no. mean, they're, they're going to, I know, I know. But, but they're going to, look, employers interview you and try to look for just as many reasons of not to hire you mm -hmm. as they look for reasons of to hire you. 
Okay. So they're looking for features, advantages, and benefits, but sure. they're also looking for what's wrong with this picture, mm -hmm. okay? So you need to be able to communicate. I'm solid, I'm strong, I make a lot of calls, I make a lot of presentations. The sooner you get into the activity of doing that and really push yourself hard, the more you'll get all the rest of that garbage in your life out of it, okay? Because action overcomes fear, okay? Sure. And the sooner you do that, the better off you are. Okay? Okay. All right, Alicia, give us a call on Monday and we'll see I what will. we can do for you. Thank you. Pleasure it's meeting very nice you. To meet All right, you too. we'll do our best. One of the reasons that we brought Alicia in here is she has a story like many, many, many people do in this country. Going through a very difficult relationship, a very difficult divorce, it's so easy for people to get into the interviewing situation and talk about that. That's the last thing in the world that a hiring authority wants to hear is I got an emotional strain or an emotional problem. I'm not a psychologist, okay, I've just been doing this for 38 years, but she needs to be able to go in and to communicate to an employer that she needs to go to work, she's been through a divorce, and then drop it. I made that very, very clear. Most people don't do that. They want to go into an interview and give a pity party. I've gone through a divorce and I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, employers don't want to hear that. They want to know, what can you do for me today? I think she has a good future. I think that if she gets in front of the right people and sells herself well enough, her resume needs to be fixed a little bit, but that's not really the biggest issue. The biggest issue is she needs to get in front of enough people where she can sell herself and get a job. Maybe she starts at the bottom and moves her way up, but she's going to be all right.